This is a video tutorial using Flash Professional 8 and today I'm going to show you how to make a text box. Um, so any text that you insert into your animation, I'm going to show you how to make it spin and turn using our free transform tool. So the first thing is I have my layer here. I'm going to go ahead and rename that text. And then again, every time we add a new aspect to our animation, we do want to be sure that we're putting everything in to its own separate layer. The reason being is that everything needs to be in its own layer in order to have it animate independently of one another. So to begin, we should have on our first frame, we should have a um, blank frame with a circle that is white. So that means that we don't have anything in this frame yet. So I'm going to click on my frame. And then I'm going to come over to my toolbar and click my text tool. I'm going to drag out a text box and I can type in whatever I want it to say. You can also highlight and then in your properties toolbar you can change the font, the size, and the color of your text. So I'm going to go ahead and put this text in my starting position. So for this animation, I want my text to start in the lower left hand corner. You can also make your text box smaller if you want. So I'm going to scale mine down just a little bit here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out to my 10th frame. So however far apart your frames are from each other, um, will dictate how quickly or how slowly your animation will move. So the farther out your frames, the sh longer it's going to take to get to that final point, and the closer your frames are together, the less time it will take for them to go to their final destination. I'm going to stick with 10, I'm going to right click, and I'm going to insert a keyframe. So when you insert a keyframe, you should have another black um, dot in your frame, and then there should be a white box preceding it. So what I can do now is I can click and drag my text to wherever I want it to end up. So I want it to end up in my upper right hand corner. If I go back to my first box, you, my first frame, you can see it's up down here in the lower left. And then in my tenth, it's going to be up here in the upper right. Go back to your first keyframe, right click, and then we're going to click create a motion tween. So when you have a tween successfully created, you should see a black solid arrow in between your two dots. So now when I click and drag my cursor, my text is going to move across diagonally to my upper right hand corner. I'm going to come out to my 20th keyframe. In this frame, again, I'm going to right click and insert a keyframe. So a keyframe is different than a frame because a frame is blank and a keyframe will have an element in it that we are animating. So this time I'm going to use my free transform tool. Now I'm going to drag my text and you should see a black outline with little black dots or squares in each corner and on each edge. If I hover my mouse over the corner I should see my cursor change from an arrow to, a sim to an almost complete circle with an arrow. I can click and drag and that will rotate my text. So I can use that to rotate it 360 degrees. So I'm going to come back to my 10th keyframe. I'm going to right click, create motion tween. And now as it moves across my stage, it is going to slowly rotate until it is upside down. So now I'm going to go out to my 30th keyframe, right click, insert keyframe, and then this time I'm going to drag it to the top using my selection, my free transform tool. This time I want it to be at a little bit of an angle. And I can use my selection tool to move it back into my stage. Then go back to our 20th keyframe, right click, and create that motion tween once again. So now as it travels, it's going to slowly rotate into that angled position. When I go out to my 40th keyframe, again, I'm going to right click, 
insert keyframe. And you guys can do any, um, if you want to do five keyframes, if you want it to have three, I'm just doing 10, but you can use however many keyframes in between each motion as you want. I'm going to move it back to my lower right hand corner. And using my free transform, I'm going to have it go the opposite way. So it'll end up like that. So I'm going to create a motion tween again. And now as it goes across, you can see that it is rotating. And then for my last one, I'm going to go to my 50th keyframe, insert that keyframe once again. I'm going to drag it to the middle. And then this time, I want it to be right side up. So I can maneuver it. And we always want to be sure we are doing our changes on our last keyframe. So for this one, I'm in my 50th keyframe. So we always want to be sure we're doing it on that last frame. Go back, create that motion tween, and now it'll slowly rotate until it gets to the center spot and is upright and ready to go. So to reiterate, I start at my first keyframe, and as it goes through, it's going to spin and move to different locations on the screen. And then it will end up in its final location.